Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the deluxe Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. I was kind of surprised this morning. This was not supposed to arrive until, so today's Saturday. It's not next Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. But this morning, here it was on my front doorstep. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. The colors of the uh, jetpack are kind of throwing me. And I've heard a lot of people complaining that the helmets are squished right out of the package. It's kind of hard to tell because of the plastic mold uh, that holds the figure in. It might be an illusion. I think mine is okay, but we'll find out <laughs> very soon. Ah, but as you can see, through the front window, the figure... And I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the scratches look really nice. His lower half looks a little too clean, but you know, we'll get a better look at it soon. You've got the blaster that was cut in half from when Luke cut it in half. And you have a normal blaster. And uh, that is the EE-3 that Boba Fett carries. You've got his jetpack, which again, the colors are kind of messing with me, but yeah. yeah. Uh, you got the rocket there. You have some flame effects there for the jetpack. You've got a flame effect for his flamethrower that I think is on his left arm. And you have the little grappling hook thingy. On that side of the box, the front window wraps around. And on that side of the box, you have a nice picture of Boba Fett. And again, they're keeping the whole green scheme of the other Return of the Jedi. Of course, mine are covered right now. Yeah, black and green. Love it. You've got a small window on the top of the box. The bottom of the box is the barcode and all the stuff that no one ever reads. And on the back of the box, you got the same picture. You got a bio in several languages. You got some more stuff that no one reads. And Boba Fett is number six in this Return of the Jedi line. I'm going to get Boba Fett open and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got the deluxe Boba Fett out of the box. And let's just take a look at him from head to toe. So let me just start by saying the famous dent up here. This one had no silver paint in it whatsoever, and I was pretty disappointed. I mean, that's like an iconic trademark, you know, thing for Boba Fett to have. And they totally missed the paint, so I dabbed it with some silver paint there. I might hit it just a little bit more, but yeah, they didn't even paint the dent. So now I've painted the dent, and it looks okay. It looks better. You know, but speaking of the head, I have seen some pictures where people's, the uh, the ones that they've gotten... The bottom of the helmet is really squished and narrow. Mine is not bad. I've tried to squeeze mine out just a little bit more. It's not bad. It could be a lot worse. But I think overall the scratches back here look pretty good. This is better now. The visor looks good. All these scratches over here. I mean, it might be a little overdone, but at the same time, I kind of like it. That's what the back looks like. Just more scratches. It's not bad. And again, I've been trying to pinch mine just to try to reshape it. I mean, mine was a little narrow out of the box. This thing up here I found is super bendy. It does move. You can uh, bring it, you know, up and down. But it is super flexy. Yeah, so be careful with that. This front chest piece, you know, once again, more scratches. I think they did a pretty good job on that. I kind of wish they had painted this here. I guess they just got lazy. I don't know, but yeah, it's unfortunate they didn't paint that. Yeah, but the armor looks good. They did get the Mythosaur symbol over here. Looks pretty good, got more scratches. On this side, it's just yellow with more scratches. They have this little little dangly bit there that is just looped and you could probably does that come off no it is glued right there the shoulder pads are glued right there okay just so you know that's going to allow the arms to get up the arms i think they did a pretty good job on the gauntlets you know with some nice weathering got some nice hoses going on back here same thing on this side so glad that they actually painted that it looks kind of cool. Now, I was kind of disappointed that they gave us a plastic cape on this one. 
it looks pretty good. I mean, it flows. Well, take that back. It doesn't flow. It looks like it's flowing. It's got some nice folds in it, but it is plastic. But the belt looks pretty good. It's like a belt over a belt. And this here has a really nice texture to it. The belt is a separate piece. It will move all over the place. It is not fixed anywhere, so it just kind of hangs. It's kind of nice. Got some scratches on his cod piece. Got some pouches back here. It's got some little sculpted detail here and there. The legs have a nice texture to them. Pants are surprisingly clean. The knee pads have some nice scratches on them. Got these little things, his little knee darts or, or knee missiles, whatever you want to call them. I think those look pretty good. Got some little bits down here, some little tools in these pockets. Got another thing there. Yeah, but the wrinkles look really good. And the shoes, you know, Boba Fett shoes. Got a nice black stripe on the top right there. Looks kind of nice. Everything looks really good on this. I was a little bit disappointed in the helmet at first, but again, I've been really squishing it. And I have read stories from people on, on some Facebook um, groups that I'm in. They have heated their helmet up. You know, just dip it in boiling water and just really give it a good pinch from front to back. And it'll kind of widen out the bottom of the helmet just a little bit. Yeah, but mine's not too bad. And that dent looks a lot better, too. I couldn't, be couldn't believe they forgot to paint the dent. So I painted it myself. Yeah, it's not a bad-looking Boba Fett at all. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's just run through articulation real quick on Boba Fett. So the head obviously can rotate side to side. He's got some okay tilt. He can look down that much, and he can look up that much. And he's got a little bit of forward and back in the neck. And like I mentioned, the shoulder pauldrons, where they're glued, they can flex a little bit. So the arms get up to there. They can rotate around, but you kind of have to get that pauldron out of the way first. He has single jointed elbows that get up to there. He has a swivel at the elbow. And he also has a swivel back here, just above the elbow. And the gauntlets can also swivel. And he has a swivel at the wrist. The right hand is hinged up and down, and the left hand has a side-to-side -side swivel. He's got some swivel at the waist. He has some okay tilt. He crunches forward only about that much, and he goes back that much. The legs get up that far. They go out that far. They go back about that much. He has a swivel at the thigh that is beautifully hidden by the top of this pocket here. He has a swivel at the knee. He's got single-jointed knees that get up to there. The feet go down that far. They don't go up very much, and you've got some pivot at the ankle. And as far as accessories, there's the blaster that is in one piece, the EE3 blaster that Boba Fett uses. And I think they did a fantastic job on making this one look weathered and rusty and dirty. I mean, that looks really, really good. Really nice sculpted detail. That's a pretty cool looking blaster. And the one that's in half that Luke, you know, lightsabered in half, that's what that looks like. And I guess so you don't have to keep up with two pieces. They made it to where you can peg it together. But I'm not sure what you're going to do with this, except maybe for display purposes, just having this part, because there's no way to make this look like it's like flying off, like in the promotional photos. It's just there. I don't know. It's kind of cool, but I, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I'll probably leave it in the box. And that's what the jetpack looks like. It is blue and yellow, and red, and silver. <laughs> I had to find a picture because I don't remember it being this blue, but it was in fact blue. I think they did a pretty good job with the scratching here and making it look worn. I really wish they would have scratched up the side. The side is like surprisingly clean, but uh, it's not bad. And that's what the rocket looks like. It's got some nice, you know, sort of two-tone black and silver. I don't know. It's got some cool detail on it. And that just pegs in right there at the top, obviously. And it's pretty secure. It's not coming out. So that's what the jetpack looks like all put together. Oh, and these things can swivel down here. And here are the flame effects for the jetpack. And it's pretty obvious where they go. Now, one thing I found, you have to hold the, the jet back here pretty secure because you do have to push pretty hard. These are not the strongest things in the world and you wouldn't want to snap it off right there. So hold it here and push. And same thing on the other side. 
And once they're in, they're in. And it's kind of a cool effect. Yeah, I kind of like that. And you have the flame effect for his flamethrower that goes on the left gauntlet. And if you notice on the gauntlet there how it's beveled, so that means this will only go on one way. So you just line that up. And again, you sort of have to push pretty hard. But there's only one way that'll go on. And you can see how it sort of lines up there. But that's what that looks like. It's kind of cool. I don't know that I would ever display him like that. But it's a neat effect. <laughs> kind of glad they included that. And probably the silliest thing they've ever done is this little grappling hook. So the hook itself actually looks pretty good. It's got a little string and it attaches to his right gauntlet. It just sort of sits there. There's like a little cutout there on the gauntlet for that thing to sort of, it, it doesn't even really peg. It just sort of sits there. And you can pull the back of the string and wind it up. But, I mean, what are you gonna do with that? It just, it just hangs. You can pull it back, have it retracted, but it doesn't stay on very well. It falls off very easily, as you can see. Yeah, this is kind of goofy. I'll probably just put this right back in the box. I'm not sure why they even thought that would be a good idea. So let's go back to the blaster. I wanna see how he holds this. So he has a trigger finger, but this guard back here, it's not one that you can just drop in. So you kind of have to hook the thumb in first, like even turn the gun backwards and rotate it and get his thumb in there. And then you can sort of bend it and you can even take, say the rocket and, and sort of bend his trigger finger out just a little bit and finagle it in there. <laughs> it's kind of fiddly. And then once you get it to that point, you can maybe take the end of the rocket or something kind of solid and uh, push the trigger finger in there a little bit more. Yeah, there. That <laughs> It takes a little bit of work, but it can be done. The trigger finger goes right through the trigger guard. The thumb goes through here, obviously. It is very stable. There is no possible way that's gonna fall out. And that is a really, really good look. Let me put that back up there. And as far as getting it in two hands, <laughs> this second swivel up here behind the elbow really helps. He's got a good wrist hinge. I mean, you can really get this rifle up there. The stock is right where it should be. He's practically aiming down the sight. I mean, from the side, that looks really good. From the front, it's not terrible, but from the side, boy, that looks good. The left hand is super stiff. The thumb, is, is yeah, you can't bend it. So it's hard to get his hand around the, uh, you know, down here or even at the end of the barrel. It's that, that thumb is like concrete. But you know, just having the hand there, I think that's a really good look. Kind of like that. You know, maybe standing just at a relaxed stance, just hanging out in Jabba's Palace, just kind of chilling. I think that's a pretty good look. You can hinge the wrist up a little bit, have him firing from the hip. I mean, there's, there's quite a few options with this figure. He's actually got pretty good articulation in the arms. And let's get back to this jetpack real quick. So this is obviously a three peg design, which is great. So there's no chance of it rotating. And you just simply line up the pegs and give it a nice push. And that is, yeah, it's in there. Once it's in, it's in. And you know, the cape actually kind of hangs to the side. Nice. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not bad. It's terrible. <laughs> I just don't remember it being that blue, but yeah, the, uh, the plastic cape, it's not great, but it's, it's okay. You know, just looking at it, the folds, it actually doesn't look bad. I just kind of wish they would have done this in cloth. And there's the flame effects on the jetpack with the jetpack on him, which yeah, doesn't look bad. I mean, personally, I think all this color kind of gets lost with all this color back here, but it's not bad. I mean, he's, you know, he's taking flight. Yeah, they work. Yeah, so in closing, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, this is not a bad Boba Fett at all. It's probably not the best Boba Fett that's been released, but I'm pretty happy with it. And and the fact that this is my only Boba Fett. But <laughs> I was kind of disappointed in that. And I'm glad I was able to just boop, you know, with a little silver. And it's it's better. Um, 
you know, the scratches look good. The gauntlets look really good. The outfit, I think, is pretty accurate. It's nice that they included the, the mud horn, or not the mud horn, the mythosaur. I wish they would have painted that. I'm glad they included this. Yeah, overall, I think it's a really good looking Boba Fett. The rustiness of the uh, blaster looks really good. The helmet, eh, I've seen worse. I've, I've seen a lot worse. This one is not bad as far as the shape of it. You know, but you have to be careful with this, the rangefinder. It is super flexy. Be super careful with that. Yeah, but the pants look good. The knee pads look good. The boots, I mean, they're Boba Fett's uh, shoes, whatever you want to call them. You yeah, know, they look good. Yeah, I think everything looks really, really good on him. I am pretty pleased with this one. You know, as far as gripes, I mean, this isn't really a gripe. It's just kind of a silly accessory. It's, <laughs> I don't know that I will ever get this out, but it's kind of cute that they included it. But yeah, there's that. This is just kind of silly. I will probably never get this out. I'm going to put this in my box of accessories that I don't use and just leave it there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not blown away by that. The flame effects are a nice touch. I mean, if you have one of those little flight stands, I mean, these would look really good with that. This, again, it looks pretty cool. I don't know that I would ever display him with this, but it, it's a nice effect. And it works, and once it's on, it's on. It's not falling off. So yeah, just a few minor gripes, but overall, I think this is a pretty solid figure. I'm pretty happy with it. Even the blue jet pack, I, I'm okay with it, because after, after finding the picture of it, it's blue. It, it, it had more scratches on the side. I, I really wish they would have done that. But it's okay. It's it's not bad. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. And I'm also glad this shipped out early. Like I said, today's Saturday. It was not supposed to arrive, not Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. So <laughs> this was a nice surprise and I am uh, yeah pretty pleased overall. But please comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this deluxe version of Boba Fett. And if you like videos like this, please hit like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.